you walk up to the car, you don't have to worry about fiddling, trying to find the key in your pocket or your purse or anything like that. And you just walk up, put your hand inside the handle, touch it. See, the door's unlocked now. You get in the car, the car's got push button start, and knows that the key's inside the car. Get in there, push the button. I mean, you never have to touch your keys. Get back out, lock it, walk away. The key's got to be within three feet of the car. You know, so you can't be standing it, sitting in the house and somebody will get in your car and start it and drive away or anything. It's got to be within three feet of actually the handle that you're using as well. Somebody couldn't try to open that door over there while I'm standing here with the keys. So. Obviously, you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Another safety thing is blind spot monitoring system. What these little triangles are in the mirrors are for. So if your car is in your blind spot, this little light, it'll be a yellow light will turn on, depending on which side that they're on. I'm telling you somebody's in your blind spot. Uh, so, you know, you know, keeps you from going to the chiropractor's son, you know, to, you know, turn around and look as near as much, you know. Obviously, they still recommend you do it anyway, but, uh, and if you use your turn signal to switch lanes and there's a car in your blind spot, it'll start beeping at you. Telling you there's somebody in your blind spot. Mute the radio and everything if you're jamming it out, so. Uh, wow. Works real well. Also with that same system, because the, the sensor is a radar sensor inside this fender, you can't see it. Uh, with that same sensor, it's also got something called rear cross path detection. So imagine if this car was sitting even in this lot, you know, between two big vehicles, sitting inside two trucks or something, and you're backing out. I mean, this is a pretty long vehicle. You're backing out in the Walmart parking lot, you're not going to see, you have no clue who's driving through that parking lot. When you back out, the sensor, that sensor in the back shoots out. It'll let you know that there's a car coming, heading your way. And it'll blur you on your mirror, and it'll beep at you, telling you there's somebody who's coming in with a cross or getting right back in front of you. This car has a top mount oil filter. A lot of people probably haven't seen one of these before, or really knows much about them. You literally just pull this cap off, and then in here there's another cap. It's cover off the usual. Right here, you just spin this cap off here. Then your paper oil filter, yeah, you can pull the oil filter out. Throw it in the recycling bin because it's 100% biodegradable. You can recycle it. Throw a new one in. Your oil change, you know, your oil filter part of your oil change is done. Don't have to worry about you know getting underneath the car and spinning the oil filter off and oil going everywhere. If you guys have ever done it yourself, it's a nightmare. So really cool stuff. I did not know that. That is a good selling point. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's huge. And people have probably never seen it because it's pretty new with the engine, period. So anybody that does it themselves, I mean, you know, is going to really realize this. Because some people say, you know, I'm just going to run synthetic oil change in it. And I'm not going to change my oil, but every 15,000 miles, but they'll change their oil filter, you know, through five or 6,000 just to you know, help keep the oil as clean as possible. So. Removable, losable flashlight. I mean, it's one of those things. Just once you've got one, it comes in handy in the most awkward times. You never know when you're going to need a flashlight to find something on the ground, or you know, if somebody's broken down the side of the road, you don't have to worry about pulling your cell phone out, holding it around, trying to find stuff. So but the cool thing about it, it's always charged. It charges when it's in here. LED lights. So you know, you've got, you know the chances of the bulbs going out. Very slim, so uh, you know, pretty cool stuff there. <laughs> Obviously, getting to the third row is very, very easy. You just pull the handle, and this, there's a bright red strap right behind the seat to tumble it forward. Uh, if you've never sat in a third row one of these, I'd suggest doing it sometime. You'd be surprised how you would actually fit in a third row one of these. Uh, you know, the older Durangos and you know some of the other other vehicles, you know the third row is for five foot or shorter only. Uh, I mean a six a six fit <laughs> right. You have plenty of room. I mean I can fit back there no problem. Uh, you know and actually be comfortable and have headroom, legroom, everything else. So the you know the, it's not only for kids. It's also for adults. So. And you can also get out from the third row. You just pull a strap, and it'll tumble it and everything all in one motion. So you don't have to be trapped back there when 
and the front and the second row guys jump out and take running off to the water park or whatever. You can you can study that out. So one of the coolest things is the built-in babysitters up here on the roof. The babysitter on the roof. You know your your rear your rear entertainment system. Uh, got a nine-inch screen. You can watch DVDs on it. You can watch Sirius Backseat TV. Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, and Cartoon Network all on that back on that back screen. Uh, you know, wireless infrared head headphones, so they can listen to their stuff and you can listen to your stuff on the radio. So. What is sync? It's just for the two different sides. If you cut this one at 75, you push sync. It makes them oh, okay. both the same. Sync's your driver and passenger side. Because gotcha. it uses infrared sensors to determine uh, your body temperature. So if the sun's shining in on that side, on your side, and we got them both set at 69, that's going to set your side cooler than this side, knowing that the sunlight's shining on you. Cool. So it's kind I of did cool. not know that. Yeah, it's kind of, it's pretty cool. So let me get the Bluetooth going. Uh, your phone button here, the phone button on the steering wheel, it doesn't matter. If you don't remember the sayings, that's the hardest part about voice recognition stuff, is knowing, that's, okay, what do I say to do this? You know? If you don't say anything for five seconds, it'll give you a list of everything that you need, you know, every, all of your options. Uh, so if you just wait, since I know what I'm going to say, I'm just going to do it. So, but every every minute it goes through, you'll see it's it's pretty self-explanatory what you do. Connect phone, ready. Set up. Select one of the following: device pairing, confirmation prompts, select phone, select audio device, language. Emergency, towing assistance, SMS incoming message announcement, voice training, or reset. Device pairing. Do you want to pair a device, delete a device, or list paired devices? Pair a device. Please say a four digit PIN number. 1111. PIN code 1111. Is this correct? Yes. Please say the name of the device after the beep. Blackberry. Adding. Blackberry. Is this correct? Yes. Assign a priority level between one and seven. One is the highest priority. One. Blackberry. Set to priority. One. Is this correct? Yes. Start pairing procedure on device. See device manual for instructions. We search for a Bluetooth device on the phone. You connect. Click it. It's going to ask me for that password I made up. One 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 one. Pairing complete. Easy and enough. Connected. And then you what you want? It'll ask you for permission on your phone to connect with the U Connect and stuff. You want to connect? Yes. I don't want to pop up on my phone to you Connect. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You don't download your phone book and uh, everything else on the car. Automatic. Automatically. Uh, so anybody you got saved in your phone book on your on your phone, you can just say their name and it'll, you can call them. You can stream music if you have music on your phone or Pandora or something like that. You can stream it through Bluetooth onto the radio, so you don't have to plug it in. When uh, you get a, receive a call to mute your radio, tell you somebody's you know whoever's calling, you can click accept or ignore. Or, Anything like that. So, if, like, if you're wanting to call, say I want to call my mom. Blackberry. Is connected. Ready. Call mom. Calling mom. Work. Is this correct? Yes. Calling. No call. Obviously, I don't need to call my mom. So, uh, I mean, that's all you got to do. Anybody in your phone, but just say their name. Call and say their name. Or if you, it's a, you know, a different number, you can say call and say the number. Uh, also, if you have, you know, if you have it connected to, uh, you know, your phone connected to Bluetooth, if you're going to like points of interest and say, uh, we're wanting to go to Spanky's. <laughs> well, we need to call and make reservations. You can just click call and it will call. 
That's a nice feature. So, you know, you don't have to worry about trying to search for it on your phone and stuff like that. You can search for it on the car. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. 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 Wow.